Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode. Excuse me, sir, I am doing my intro. Can you leave? Welcome back to another episode of Survival Minecraft. We are on the 77th Combine Bedrock Realm. This is a hard mode survival only realm. And yeah, this is episode two. Like I said, we have, for those that joined me last episode, we have made our spawn house and I should say maybe not spawn house because we're quite a bit far from spawn as you can see in the coordinates. But this is our little safe house away from the craziness that is spawn and all the mobs that come out at night. So we've just been here mining, enchanting and just gearing up because today I want to take my foot first steps into the nether. And yeah, we've been making a nether tunnel from here to spawn on the Y level 111 uh, above all the craziness of the nether. But I actually want to step in down below and see what's going on downstairs with all the crazy mobs and and new biomes and everything like that so let's go ahead and get geared up and we will step into the nether between episodes we've been doing a little bit of fishing so i managed to get a couple books and got a pretty good fishing pole for fishing and yeah we've just been storing some material of course the first two i click on don't have anything we've been storing some of our mining materials this is about two hours worth of mining uh, with just a regular pick no efficiency and no beacons or anything yet so it's kind of slow but we've managed to get quite a bit of resources plus some iron in this chest right here which i'll get and yeah we've just been storing some of our junk as best as we can i'm trying to i'm really trying this season to stay organized so we put some special stuff up here some books that we bought and this is my wood chest and then yeah some valuables over here so speaking of books that i bought because this mushroom island here is the close one to spawn we decided to make this the shopping district island so we can shop around and not have fear of mobs and creepers coming up on us while we're shopping so my little spawn house eventually will have to go because this is going to be designated for shopping only but as i said with buying books we have our first shop of the island and this is mr corn's book shack he found a way to get the cheap trades from all the villagers so he sold us a bunch of mending books we got a bulk discount and yeah you can just see he's set up shop up here and this is going to be very very dangerous because i can see my house from here and anytime i need a book i'm just probably going to come over here and get it instead of trying to find it myself because honestly why wouldn't you if you just live right there so anyways i'm going to continue getting geared up and prepped and we'll see you in the nether excuse me can you get off my porch please thank you all right so i spent some more diamonds on some books and got some good enchants got some armor we we made full diamond armor i got made sure to get mending on everything because i had the mending books and we'll worry about getting the full protection and everything later i did get fire protection on this just in case we fall into some lava or have some trouble and i tried to get as much protection as i could with the other things right now i'm over here at a community gold farm that one of our members bmits had made and i checked this out yesterday that's why i had so many levels at the beginning of this episode because i was spending some time over here getting that so i can enchant some tools and everything so i got my two pickaxes and they are pretty maxed out i think as far as you can get them but i wanted to repair my silk touch before i take off because i want to do some mining for netherite some ancient debris and get netherite tools and armor and yeah let's see how hard it is to get netherite so let let me just go ahead and repair this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, well, we are geared up and we are chilling right here in the nether hub or what is the start of it. I can see someone has been building up the ceiling up here. So what we're going to do is just step down into the nether floor and see what's going on. I know I'm supposed to probably be wearing some gold armor to not. Oh, man, I should have brought a shield. I'm already regretting this decision. Uh, as you can see, I got oh, wrong one, wrong one again. I got full diamond gear and we are mostly enchanted with protection three all the way around. I got some fire protection, yeah. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and try and see what happens, see how far we can get without getting, this is just gonna be a bad idea. I already know it. I already know it. This is a terrible biome to start in. There's skeletons everywhere. Oh my goodness. All right, you get wrecked, you get wrecked, you get wrecked. I do not wanna fall off this edge. This is just a bad idea. All right, they're fighting each other a little bit, so that's saving me somewhat. Let's get you out of here, let's get you out of here. I seem to be taking them out pretty easily, and then some will just spawn, and they spawn in groups of three, which makes it fairly difficult to get. Oh, there's one down there, dang. See, there's another group right here that just spawned after I just looked over here. And there's some more over here on this side, so this is just a mistake. I'm gonna... <laughs> 
Uh, as much as I would really love to explore down there, I think I'm going to try this later or get a shield or bring a buddy because this is just going to be too much at the moment. So as I was waiting to go down into the nether, I was doing some reading and I saw this Google search that I looked up and you can actually find ancient debris up above Y. Uh, not just Y122 to Y8 or whatever it is on the nether floor. You can actually find it up above where we're at at Y111. And even though it's not as common, I think it would be a lot more, uh, a lot safer anyways to just mine up here instead of down below. So I think what I'm gonna do is just try to do that for a little bit and see where that takes me. And I'll give this maybe 30 minutes, see if I find anything. If not, then I'll go down to the nether floor and try it again down there. Well, I tore up this area completely and still nothing. So what I'm gonna do is there actually was a way over here that looks like it's a little closer to the ground and I still can't reach it, but I wanna try to poke out just a little bit, see if I can get down there without jumping straight in. So I have an escape route because I kind of want to check out what's down there, but I don't want to die. So oh, this bedrock thing. So let's go ahead and do this. Maybe we can, okay, so it's four deep, four tall. Let's see what's down here. Maybe I will grab some of these blocks while I'm down here. Let's go ahead and make a staircase out so we are prepared and light it up so we know where to go in case we get lost. So it looks like the stuff, the mobs that were down here despawned. So we want one of these. We don't need that. I'll take some of this. And I realize that my inventory is full, so we'll take that out, take that out, and maybe one more. And let's see what we can grab. Please take the bait and don't attack me. Just take these instead. What are you going to give me, though? What are you going to give me? <gasps> what are you doing? Oh. Come on, you guys. I'm trying to avoid fighting you. But did they leave any trades before they left? Just crossbow. No trades, huh? Just crossbows. Shall we try it again with these guys? I don't think they're going to like it. Okay. They want to die, I guess. Come on, take the bait. Take it. They're not trading. All right. I don't know if I'm, maybe I'm supposed to wait a little longer or what? Maybe this guy will do it. No, you're just gonna keep taking the gold? All right, these guys don't want it. Maybe I need to be wearing gold armor for this to really work. But yeah, it's getting a little crazy down here, so I'm gonna get out of here actually. Oh, did I? Oh no, I, I blocked my own exit. All right, well, it's been about an hour and still no sign of ancient debris. I've just been strip mining just like you see right here. I don't know if this is the most effective way or not. And yes, I'm well aware that I'm leaving quartz behind. Uh, I don't have my silk pick. It's, it's about to break. I don't want to mine it anymore. So I spent a pick and about an hour mining and no sign of ancient debris up here. So I don't know if it just doesn't spawn up here or I'm just very unlucky, but either way, I'm going to go repair my pick and then go downstairs and see if I could find anything down below. All right, we are all repaired up and Miss Grumpy Cat had shown me a way down safely to the bottom of the nether. So thanks Cat for showing me this. And we're just gonna go ahead and start strip mining down here. I've already seen some ancient debris that someone else had claimed and, or actually it's left unclaimed, but it's been marked off. So we don't, we're not gonna mine that. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and dig, dude, already? What is the deal, man? We're just gonna go ahead and start strip mining down here and see what we can dig up. And we have a winner. We finally made it. 
We actually only went down about 80 blocks or so, you can see on the X coordinate. And yeah, I was just making a little strip mine. I haven't even dug out the sides yet just because I was going straight ahead collecting blackstone. But yeah, we finally got one. So let's dig this out. Let's see if, the oh, this is taking longer than I thought. All right, oh, we got two. Okay, maybe we can get three. I don't know, I'll dig out around it a little bit. I think two is common. I actually think it's more common to get one, but yeah, two will work. And I better pick this up. Let's see, what can we get rid of? You're out of here. You're out of here. And yeah, we have two ancient debris. So I think we need four to make one tool or to make one netherite ingot. So we're just going to keep going and try to get another one. And we have another winner. Let's see how many we got here. There's one, ooh, two, three. Can we get four? Does it even come in four or is it just two or three? I mean, let's see. Looks like we got three, so that's five now. Let's pick that up. So I went down around 200 blocks and then decided to come back and just start mining out the sides like I was doing up above, just in case there's stuff hidden on the sides. And yeah, one, occasionally we'll get a little lava pool like this and some skeletons that we'll just avoid for now. But I feel like this is a little bit more of an efficient way than just making a tunnel uh, straight strip mining like this because you can dig the nether rack fairly quickly and yeah you can get through all these you can check all these blocks pretty quickly so i don't know there may be a way to myth bust this or to test this but for now this is just how i'm doing it. it's working for me so i'm gonna stick with it and yeah let's just keep getting some debris i'm gonna see how many i can get within the next hour or so or until my picks wear out so let me just keep doing this all right, well, we are back from mining in the nether. I ended up with a total of 20 ancient debris. So we are getting some netherite scraps right now. Let's go ahead and take some of these out. And I do need to make a smithing table. So yeah, I was looking up the recipe for that. So let's make some iron and then we make the smithing table. And that way we can create the netherite armor. So I think what I want to do first is the silk touch pick. And then we drop one of these in and that doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Oh, because I have to make the ingot first. Okay, so we go here and do I not? Oh, right here. So I want some of that. And then, yeah, now we can upgrade this. So we put that in there, insert the pick, and then we have our first netherite pick. Sweet. So we'll do the fortune the same way. And now we have two netherite picks, awesome. And I don't think I wanna do this sword yet because it's only sharpness one. And I think I'm gonna invest in a new sword with the new enchantment over here, see what kind of enchantments I can get. But yeah, that's a cool little start. Um, I actually can do, let's go ahead and get to the inventory and I will do, uh, let's try the helmet. We'll do the helmet next, cause that'll look cool. I like the way these netherite helmets look. So that's wrong, let's go this way. And let's try it on. How do I look? Oh yeah. That's a handsome boy. Pretty music, see? I even have an aura of my own music. All right, we got our netherite tools all set up and yeah, let's head over to spawn. We're gonna go mark out a platform for the spawn area. It was one of my plans early on before the season even started to just mark out a large area around the spawn platform to make for, you know, just something that looks good because normally we just do a spawn, just something like this, just something very simple and just random stuff all around. So the mods or the, the op team, we always claim the first 50 blocks in every direction uh, for community builds only. And I specifically requested to have about the first 30 in each direction for a spawn platform. So I don't know if this is gonna end up being that big as far as 30, but the plan that we have is gonna be really close to that. So I'm gonna start marking this out and see how it looks. All right, well, it's been about 24 hours since I recorded that last clip. In that time, I've been grinding for resources and yeah, trying to find all the biomes in the nether because I decided to go for a nether biome theme, all the, the new biomes that they put in the nether. So we have the basalt biome over here, 
the crimson neelium forest or whatever it's called over here. We have the soul sand biome here and the warped forest over here. That one I know the name of. And so what I want to do is decorate each of these quadrants and then kind of leave the first two flat and just a little bit of detail like you can see here. And then the outer ring along the edge will be all the tall structures. So for the crimson biome and the warped forest, it'll have the trees with the, the nether wart and the blue nether wart. And then for the basalt, we'll do the little basalt towers and yeah, maybe a little lava a waterfall or something and integrate the magma and lava in these things. For the basalt biome, we'll put a little bit of the basalt towers on the outer edge and then integrate some magma cubes and some lava and whatever else is in the basalt biome. I can't remember off the top of my head. I believe it's blackstone, maybe a little bit of gravel. And the soul sand biome will have some of the bone structures, which you can see I started right here, but I think I'm going to move those and save those for the edge, uh, the edge of the platform. On our realm, we usually try to keep the immediate spawn area community based with no large redstone farms and no permanent homes or no large bases. So you'll see over here on the cliffs, a lot of people have started making starter homes. And I think that's going to look really cool when that all fills up. We were able to build our platform into a bridge that will tunnel through this and maybe have a way up and integrate it with the scenery over here. And to the east side over here, we have a tree farm that's already popped up. And I figured this side would be good to reserve for community farms for public use. So whatever kind of small farms we can make, we can put over here. And then to the north side, we have our spawn portal. This will take us to the nether where we'll build a nether hub that will take us to everyone's base and all the, you know, the main attractions around the realm. And when I finished this, I realized, you know, it was mainly because I ran out of materials, but looking back at it from far away now, I really want it to be anywhere from 10 to 15, 20 blocks taller and more of a spike look to it. So it's a lot sharper, a lot more jagged, which is hard to do when you only have full blocks of these basalt, but I kind of want to do my best to make it look like that and then chip away at the inside a little bit. So the portal sticks through a lot more and is a little more prominent on that build. And finally over here to the West, you can see in the nether rack outline over there is going to be our post office where we can send each other, you know, mail and drop off gifts and trades and whatever we want to do. And another member of our realm is going to be working on the redstone for that. And it's supposed to be really cool. So I helped them outline a spot for that. You can see a pathway marked out over here and it, it bridges down, it staircases down in, over there. And we can do some more community builds over here. That little outline of Blackstone right there on the center of your screen is going to be a community safe house where if you happen to die on the realm and it's nighttime and you need to gear up real quick, you can go over there and have a little safe house. Or if you're new to the realm and you join, then you can have some gear from over there and maybe some, uh, some food or anything that's really community based and you need to put in a what you would consider a safe house will be there. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Next episode, we will be finishing this off. It's taking a long time to just find all these biomes and survive in the nether and then try to bring all those resources back. So now that I know where all these biomes are at, I can go make little dedicated missions to like the basalt biome and get all the basalt, make a dedicated mission to this one and get all the materials for this and so on for the other ones. And then try to finish the outline of this thing with maybe some basalt pillars going all the way around or something to kind of finish it off. So we'll save that all for next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. And if you're new to this channel and want to follow along, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.